Hi, my name's Sally Jacks, TV mom, and it's an absolute pleasure to have your company today. Have you noticed as well, if you do watch me on a regular basis, look how great my um, shoes look. Uh, that's all in the Amazon boxes. I did a, um, like a, um, you know, like a reel on Instagram about it. Are you following on Instagram? And I'm also now on TikTok as well, which is also Sally Jacks, TV mom. So in this one, I'm going to give you five tips on how to look after your skin and make sure that you get the most out of it. So here are the five things. You have to excuse me, just got my hair tied up today, but I really want to look after my skin, so I am going to allow it to breathe today. But number one is getting enough sleep. That's so imperative. And um, I've learned that over the years because I've done such stupid shifts with going from television into late night television into breakfast radio and things like that and doing gigs very late at night and then going on to I remember once doing a gig when I was with Box Fizz and we finished about something stupid like 2 30 in the morning and then we had to be if you remember the big breakfast we had to be on that television show and I think we had to be there about five o'clock in the morning and that's when I was taught about Optrex um eye drops to make it look like you weren't you know all red eyed anyway that's another thing because that's nothing to do with anti-aging but so really imperative and you really need to get your seven to eight hours at night. And if you're not getting that, then look into it because what actually happens with the body is that it has memory. So it, rem it remembers what you're used to. So if you say, oh, like, Margaret Thatcher etc oh I only need three hours a night well actually lack of sleep now um I can't absolutely say this 100% but there's kind of trials to being done at the moment that it could possibly you must remember what I'm saying here could possibly be linked to things like dementia and Alzheimer's so it's really important that we get really good amount of sleep and that helps the skin the second one is, of course, really good food. So making sure that you're eating that rainbow. So any bread that you're picking up, it's not good for the body. The body doesn't understand it. I don't care whether it's wholemeal or whatever. Um, it's not good for it. So make sure, obviously, everything in moderation. And I'm not saying cut it out completely. Um, but just be careful how many carbs you're having. Make sure you're having a lot of protein because protein is a building block. And also fats. So if you're on a low-fat diet, not good. And I'll tell you why. Fats are needed underneath the skin for things like your collagen, etc. So if you're not having fats, I'm not saying go and absolutely indulge in them now because obviously there's a moderation, but fats are really, really important for the skin. So a low fat diet will actually age your skin. So it's not good for you. Um, obviously, sugar. Sugar is also a horrendous thing. So this comes all together with these two under food because sugar is horrendous for the skin. So you've got to be really careful careful that your sugar intake is not too big and of course this spartan well you've heard all about this week where there is links to cancer with that if you have too much of it so of course again no sugar low fat just eat normal food don't eat products i'm going to do a whole uh, other vlog on this one because i'm so into um eating really good food and trying to get organic when you can although i know that's very very difficult um the third thing um, which is a really good product to use on your skin is a retinol. This is a vitamin A, but make sure you're getting a higher strength. And there is a little bit of a tip here. Do not use it in the summer months. And the reason being is because this strips your skin back to being baby soft. So of course that sun can come and attack it even more. And don't forget when the sun hits your skin, um, especially on your um, body, etc., it can cause cellulite to become worse because what is it? doing is it's breaking down the structure so just be careful of that one so retinol i use twice a year uh, and i've either used elizabeth grant there's a four pack of an elizabeth grant one which is absolutely incredible or i've gone for um the um it's like obagi blue and it is a little bit more expensive and it's called a tretinoin in fact i might have it here to be able to show you let me have a look in my drawer um i might have it here to be able to show you and i don't think i do oh it is it's here so it's this one it's the retinol here uh, and that 
that's called Obagi and it's a medical grade. Um, that's really, really good. But again, it dries your skin out. You've got to follow the directions and never put retinol on your skin when your skin is wet. Make sure it's dry. And obviously, once it starts drying out, you're thinking, oh, it's not good for my skin, but it is actually one of the best anti-aging things ever. The BBC have done a documentary on it. Most dermatologists talk about it. It is absolutely incredible. The fourth thing, and this is so important, and that is your water. Now, I've already done, and I'll try and link it in um, in the description uh, below, you know, where all the paraphernalia is, um, basically to tell you that the Japanese water ritual is brilliant. So I try and drink a litre of water before I've got out of bed in the morning for the skin. Not only is it good for the skin, it's also good for the brain function. It's also good for getting your bowels moving as well. And obviously, what it's doing is while you're in bed overnight, all those toxins are building up in your body and you're just peeing them out plus when you want to lose weight your fat cells grow and then they shrink they, they don't go anywhere they just grow and shrink when they shrink that fat's got to go somewhere and it comes out and you pee so the more that you drink the better it is so make sure you're having your glass of water now this should be the fifth one but i'm gonna add it in into my fourth because it comes under water but i'm a real stickler um for making sure that i try and get all my vitamins and minerals you've probably seen and i am going to do more leave it leave something in in the comments section below um, about uh, what you would like me to see because this is an added bonus because normally I only put out on a Friday um, but I'm putting out on a Wednesday today and if anybody you know knows what's going on you'll understand wink wink um, that I've had the day off <laughs> so this is um, a really good they call it superfood but you shouldn't really call it superfood there's no superfood it is food and this is absolutely incredible. So this has got lots of vitamins and minerals in it. It's got like, um, oh, all sorts, absolutely all sorts, but it's really good for the gut and the microbiome. So I have one of these a day. And you can see, I always have that smile. So that comes under my water. So it's really imperative that I have that every single day. And I suppose what comes with that is that I also take my collagen. <laughs> um, so I suppose that's a fifth one, I suppose. I'm going on to six now. Um, I take a collagen uh, supplementation every single day by a company called Protocol. I absolutely love it. It's really well worthwhile. I've noticed a massive difference with my skin. And um, it is brilliant. Now, so it's not five, it's six, because I've added a six one in. This one is the top one that I could possibly give you. The number one, um, the A star, and everybody should be doing this. Absolutely everybody. And it's so simple. Now, I do use every single day a product called Tericillin. And I put a little bit of this uh, on my skin in the morning and at night. This is also good to go over... Um, things like scarring and stuff like that. I've had a few moles removed recently. So once they kind of healed over, I put a lot of Tricillin. Now, you should let that sink into your skin. So I do use that every morning and every night. I also, at night time, also use some other Elizabeth Grant products as well for um, nighttime treatments and eye treatments and things like that. But during the day, I use a little bit of Tricillin when I get out of the shower. I let that soak into my skin. But there's only one cream, can you guess what I'm going to say, that must be used every single day, even on Christmas Day, it is so imperative. You've probably heard me talking about this on television a lot. And that is a suntan cream. Now, I'm going to try and find a link to this because this is like rocking horse poop. Um, this is a Factor 50. It's an SPF and it also has... Um, UVA and UVB uh, because you need that full spectrum and you are slightly coloured with this one as well so it will go with your skin tone so if you're somebody that doesn't want to because it's a BB cream that doesn't want to go out with like like today I'm trying to have a makeup free day although I'm gonna have to put some on in a minute but I've had most of the day so I'm gonna put this on now I'm gonna drag it down because I've got my um top on already I'm not gonna go but I go around the back of my neck and I go down to my decolletage and I also put it on the back of my hands so this is so important and make sure you get it absolutely everywhere and then you can put your 
makeup on top now i know what you're going to say oh it's all right matt sally my makeup actually has an spf in it will never be as good as a proper spf that you use in the sun now my hands are going to be absolutely full of the bb cream now so you're going to have to wash your hands after you've used this i'm going to try my utmost to try and get you a link to that because i've mentioned it before and you all went wow I want to get some of that and, and then I couldn't get hold of it. Uh, if you can't get hold of that, just use an SPF and I would advise on an SPF of 50. Um, make sure that's um, sunk into your skin. Um, make sure that's sunk into your skin because it's really important before you go and put your makeup on. But you can see it's given me a slight, um, a slight uh, better glow to my skin. I don't know whether you can see because I've got the lights on and on the camera, but it has. It gives you kind of... Um, an edge and it's really good to use that on holiday because it kind of looks like you've got a bit of foundation on but you haven't um it's very very good so i use that by the pool as well honestly the best tips that i can give you and if you go and read anywhere they'll all tell you the natural stuff food sleep supplementation uh water your spf really important and i am going to give you one more if you smoke Slap, slap the back of your hand please don't do it because it's not good for you and neither is vaping we're finding more and more about that plus you get that of the lips so you'll start getting the lines around the lips so i hope that helps in some way uh, in some shape or form and i love you lots um do stay with me right in the comment section below please hit that subscribe button um because you are absolutely gorgeous each and every one of you and you mean the world to me um anyway i love you lots and i'll see you on the next vlog i'm hoping i'm gonna get one out on friday but this is a bonus if i don't get it on friday don't slap me but i'm hoping i will do make sure hitting that subscribe button um all the best and i'll see you on the next vlog